What's up guys, this is Ralph Tech here and today I'll be showing you how to update the MSI Dragon Center. So all you have to do is basically open up Google Chrome or any browser you have and then you Google basically the laptop that you have currently. So for me it's I just type support and then the GT73 VR7 RF Titan Pro. Um, you might wonder how did I get to this page earlier. All you have to do is just type your model. And then it should pop somewhere here. So this one right here, the first link. And I just open it up like that. So what, what you should do now is basically go to utility. Select your windows. And then find Dragon Center. And then hit the download button. Now, I did hit it already, so I have it downloaded. However, you can see the version here of the Dragon Center that's on the website. Um, now you just go to Apps and Features, Programs and Features, and then here you should see your Dragon Center version. So just find Dragon Center, and then make sure that the Dragon Center version is lower than this one, basically. Everyone knows that. And... Um, if it's not, well, then you have to uninstall your Dragon Center. Um, and then you should download this one, the new one. Uh, however, now we're going to go and uh, delay the Dragon Center data. So you have to do this after you uninstall Dragon Center. So you basically go to File Explorer and then you go to Windows program data and then you find MSI and here's Dragon Center you have to delay this whole thing so you will lose a lot of things uh, basically are your settings and all that stuff your overclocks however this is a necessary part so you would have to delay this um, the new versions of Dragon Center I believe they automatically update and they keep the data I'm not sure However, for this video, I'm going to delay this. Now, many of you might not have this folder, Programming Data. So all you have to do is go to File here and select Change Folder and Search Options. Then you go to View. And you should find Hidden Files and Folders and select Show Hidden Files and Folders and Drives. This one right here, the one in the blue. And then click Apply, OK. And you should see this folder, Programming Data. Now let's go delete Dragon Center data here. Let me empty my recycle bin. Okay, perfect. Now all we have to do is just download uh, the new version. So for me, the new version is somewhere here, chilling. Oh, let me find it here. Here it is. I'll drag it on the desktop right, right here. And I'm going to extract to here. I use WinRAR by the way to do this. You don't really have to do that, but whatever. Um, okay. Now, all we have to do is open it up and select Setup. Click Yes, and then it should say Checking System. This bar will take a while, so I'll just pause the video and start again okay and as you can see once it's completed it should say the installation was successful so now you have to restart your laptop now let me restart mine and I'll be right back so I restarted my laptop and Dragon Center should be here so all you have to do is go to the tray here and double click on it double click and now it should be here as you can see it says overclock warning so everything has been reset so just put your settings back in but this is the more stable updated version of Dragon Center and um yeah look okay i got it when that waste on you i'm gonna spot it you need to talk what's the topic i've been around the block i got mileage yeah i'll ride for you when it gets too deep i'll die for you